I received some commentary today stating that the station WXM80 in Riverhead on 162.475 megahertz has come back online. Let's see if that is the case. This hardly gets a signal. The, the reception is so poor on 162.4. This hasn't even been going off half the time. So I really hope that the station has come back. Wind released at 7 miles per hour. Up to 30 miles per hour. There it is. Chance of rain 60%. Thursday night, cloudy with a 50% chance of rain. Lows in the lower 60s. Northeast winds 15 to 20 miles per hour with gusts up to 30 miles per hour. Friday, mostly cloudy. A chance of rain in the morning, then rain likely in the afternoon. Highs around 70. Northeast winds 15 to 20 miles per hour with gusts up to 30 miles per hour. Chance of rain 60%. Friday night, mostly cloudy. Much clearer reception on there. All right, good. So now we have this working again. Northeast winds 10 to 50. Let's go ahead and change the other radios throughout the house back to this channel. This is the one in the bedroom, which is haphazardly hanging on the wall, because in this exact location, the 162.4 megahertz channel was getting a reliable reception. I don't want this here long term. Now I can move it somewhere else. Here's the one downstairs. This one I also was not able to put where I wanted it due to reception issues, but now we can change that. Coastal flood statement in effect from this evening through late tonight. What? For the high rate current risk, dangerous rip currents. For the coastal flood statement, up to one. Well, that's ironic. This one is actually getting a better signal on the other one in this particular location here. Rain likely, mainly in the morning. Visibility 1 to 3 nautical miles. Well, it just needs to move the antenna a little bit. Northeast winds around 15 knots with gusts up to 25 knots. Waves around 2 feet. Chance of rain. And for Friday, northeast. That's pretty good reception for a basement. And lastly, here's the one in the garage, which is also not where I want it to be due to reception limitations. The lights in here cause a lot of interference. I don't think that the metal halide ones do. Let's see. Okay. These are the 6 nope. p.m. observations. Just the fluorescent ones. In Iceland Air, it was cloudy. The temperature was 73 degrees with a 2.65 and the relative humidity. I'll we'll have to see if, if I move it to a different outlet or something, if that will stop that. I'm not sure if it will. But anyways, uh, so this is fixed now. I believe the outage transpired around June 26, more or less. So this was out for, I don't know if it came back today or a couple days ago. I, I've been checking it every week or so. Uh, this lasted about three months, which is a long time for something that's emergency related. 
I got somebody, a couple of people saying that, that the transmitters are extremely reliable and that out of all the 1,000 whatever it is transmitters only 19 are down etc and that's all that's all true and valid but when you're talking about emergency alert communications 19 transmitters out especially if we're talking about several months per outage is hundreds of thousands of people without the emergency alert communications and it's just baffling to me that this is allowed to be out for that long but anyways it's back now I wish I had a way of obtaining the technical information about this because I'd be curious as to whether the POTS line system was repaired or if it was set up to work a different way. At some point, they're going to have to go off of the POTS system because none of the ISPs are maintaining the POTS lines anymore because the FCC has told them not to. So it's a, it's kind of a ridiculous thing because you have one government agency says cancel out that technology don't bother with it anymore but then you have other government agencies that are still utilizing that technology so it's kind of a conflict of interest but anyways it's working now I can go ahead and put all my radios back to where they were physically before I have one more that we can set up somewhere else I have to think about where to put it and hopefully now I will more accurately and reliably receive the emergency alerts on here.